The Mike Hosking Breakfast, six to nine weekdays on News Talks FB. It was never five percent. It was always spitballing. Basically, who we talk of? Paul Goldsmith is Treaty Minister. He's in a meeting with the seafood people who are not happy about their lack of input into the government's foreshore plan to revert a court ruling back to the original intent of law as passed in 2011. Goldsmith, it was reported, said customary title will drop to 5%. TV1 falls over themselves breathlessly reporting this as some sort of scandal on Sunday. Come Monday in the Prime Minister's post-Cabinet session, they try and get more detail. The Prime Minister quite clearly says the reason the government are doing what they're doing is because the court has overreached and what the government of the day intended has been distorted. An amendment of Section 58 is how they're going to address all of this. The original law was simple. If you can prove that you've had uninterrupted access to foreshore since 1840, you got a case. If you can't, you haven't. Groups who didn't like the law or the government went to court. The court, being activist, got overly involved and we've ended up where we have. All the government, as the Prime Minister was at pains to tell the assembled press, wanted to do is make the law the law. And why? Ah, because they're the government, and that's what governments do. As far as I'm aware, as a consumer of news, that bit wasn't reported. Uh, and by yesterday, some media, I note both state-funded, were still banging on about Goldsmith and his 5% in the meeting. The point is, and the point they're missing, I suspect deliberately, is courts don't make laws governments do. If you want to mark Goldsmith down a bit, I mean, maybe he shouldn't free wheel, free wheel with numbers. Given if you apply a little bit of brain power, no one knows what the actual number by way of a percentage will be. Why would they when it comes to access? But it wasn't a scandal. It wasn't a gotcha moment. It was a passing comment in a meeting about the intent of the government of the day and what they were doing to address what they see as an activist court that has distorted intent around an increasingly fractious subject. This would be, I think, in conclusion, another example of an activist media taking the side of an activist court and trying to drum up scandal around a government they don't like on a law they like even less. And if you apply logic and follow it as I have, fail. The Mike Hosking Breakfast, 6 to 9 weekdays on News Talks FB.